Hi, 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 everybody. This is Robin from Roman with Rover, and we've got an unboxing. So when I got back from my trip, I had a surprise waiting for me. Look at this. This beautiful crochet society box. And this is box number 44. Now I have to tell you, I did not know I was still getting these, so I, I was not expecting this. I need to I need to figure out a way how to check on these because I thought my subscription was up and I may be on an auto renew kind of thing and I gotta get that figured out. I really like these boxes. I really, really do. But I never get anything made out of them, so I, I gotta I gotta get this figured out. But isn't that box beautiful? That's one of the things about Crochet Society. Their boxers are just gorgeous. So let's look and see what we've got going on here. They, they always have a Velcro on the front of their box. How pretty is it? How pretty is it? Okay. I can't tell what it says. You can tell what it says. Some, I can't read it. I thought maybe I could read it backwards, but I can't. It says, leaves are falling, crochet is calling. Isn't that the truth? Now, I crochet all year round. I Every now and again, somebody will say, oh, it's too hot to crochet in the summer. I'm like, that never stopped me. That has never, ever stopped me. Do you guys crochet all year round? Or if when it's hot out do you stop crocheting i i don't understand that tell me down below do, do you do you switch up while you crochet i don't i don't that doesn't compute in my brain so let's see what we got they always have this beautiful tissue paper with their little sticker on it oh i got it off without tearing it They pack everything so nicely. Stopping. Ooh, ooh. Oh, look, we got a palm. We got a pom pom. Gonna be making a hat, maybe. Okay. So the thing with Crochet Society is you get, you always get a booklet with several. Uh, patterns. You always get the yarn and all the accessories that you need to make the patterns. Usually, you, I, I think in every box I've gotten, there's always been a crochet hook, so I don't know if that's always a thing. And I've always gotten a really cute little stitch marker, so I don't know if that's always it. I haven't been getting them that long. So, yep, 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 yep. Ooh, this is nice. So we've got us a little notions bag. Oh, it's got three zippers. Come on, come on, come on. I got it open. I got, I got it open. My zipper doesn't want to work. Two of them work just no problem at all. My other zipper doesn't want to work. My zipper doesn't work. Well, for heaven's sakes, my zipper does not work. Well, I'll play with it later, but you got us a notions bag. There's my, my stitch marker. It's a little pumpkin. And the stitch markers are um, that rubber stuff. So they're lightweight, but they are very stable. And I like them. They're on the lobster claws. So I like that style. Dang it. I wonder why this won't open. I'm going to break it. Oh, there's the crochet hook. 
and they are always this, um, oh, I don't know what they call it, but it's this, it's a 4.5. That's a little bigger than normal. We've got a train coming, so I'm going to pause. Okay, so now let's look at this gorgeous, gorgeous yarn that we received. There are one, two, three, four, five, six skeins of yarn. That pretty all nestled in their little box. It's DK. It's called Confection DK. 100% acrylic. Super soft. Oh, that's nice. Super soft. Uh, 50 grams. Each ball is 50 grams. 110 meters. So probably about 120 yards. That's not a bad amount. Oh, man, that's soft. This is color marshmallow, and it is, oh, those symbols. I think it's wash and cold. I think that means wash. I think that means wash and dry. You guys tell me. Is that wash and dry? I think that's what that means. I'm not 100% sure. I'm so bad with that stuff. Um, and a three or four millimeter hook. So, we are good to go with this. So this is marshmallow, this color is marshmallow, so we've got two marshmallows. And, 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 this pretty blue is, oh, that's funny, it's called raspberry sour. Like the little candies, maybe? And Sour Fizz, those are interesting names. That's funny. Sour Fizz. And this is kind of a coral watermelon. Okay, that fits. And Wine Gums. Like gummies, like the little gummy candies maybe? Hmm, interesting colors, interesting names, but they're very, very pretty. Very pretty. So let's see what we've got. Here's a little booklet. Now, this comes out of the UK, so we do need to remember that all of the terms in here are in UK terms, but right on the back, right on the back, it has the UK terms and the US terms. So it is no problem having the different terminologies right there. This is, the, it says on here, the September box. And there's always a welcome. They have a designer of the month. And table of contents. So this month's designer is Kate Rowell of Jelly Bean Junction. Not familiar with her. Have to get in there and look at her stuff. Jelly Bean Junction. So you can go in there and look her up. So we've got some pumpkins. I like the pumpkins. These are really different. Look, these are checkerboard and these are stripes. That's really different. And there's a chart there to help you with that. And it looks like these are made using the spike stitch. And tells you what you got in your box. Oh, and then there's a pillow using corner to corner. Have you guys done corner to corner before? I have done it. I don't mind doing it. It's not my most favorite. I used to really, really like it, but I've gone on to other things that I actually like better. But I don't mind doing it. And this is different. Usually if you do something that's a front panel corner to corner, you don't usually see the back, but this is nice. It's got the striped back side of corner to corner also. I kind of think I like the back better than the front. That says cozy with a pumpkin in the middle. But I do, I like that back. I like that a lot. See, and then they've got instructions on how to do corner to corner. Corner to corner is easy to do. Um, I find it a tiny bit tricky when you're doing decreases, mostly because I forget what I'm doing. And then color changes are pretty simple. 
Your Confection DK yarn colors are exclusive to this box, so you're not going to be able to replicate these colors. So, we have found a delicious selection of substitutions to try. So, if you want to use different brands of yarn, there's Yarnsmiths, there's Drops, there's King Cole, Sheepsies, I know I'm saying that wrong, Rico Essentials, Stylecraft, I love Stylecraft. Uh, when I did my, when I did my, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name. When I did my crochet along and I did this, this is using Stylecraft. So they give you some color suggestions if you want to use the different brands of yarns. Oh! Oh, I like this. There's a hat. I like the hat. It's called the Bracken Beanie. So she's designed all of these. Now that's where she's, we're using the little palm is on that beanie. And then they show some things that people have made from past kits. I like that. And then, that's interesting. It says here is a bigger project and it's a blanket, a hexa, using, making hexagram, hex, hexagrams? Just hexes, that's what they're calling it. Okay, so they used uh, Bernat satin, so they're not even using this yarn, they're using different yarn. But wow, that color is really close. Look how close that color is. Very similar. And so that's the blanket design. And they give you, they're giving it to you in a chart. I like using charts. Do you guys use charts at all? I find that it's easier to use charts than to read uh, some patterns. A lot of patterns are tricky to read. And especially if you're doing something like a hexi, I can see using a chart is going to be easier. Hexagon, not hexagram, hexagon. Good Lord. And then it tells you how many of each color to do. Interesting. That's pretty. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And that is it. And then at the end, it tells you how to connect with them to subscribe if you are so inclined to do so. I need to connect with them and find out what's happening with my subscription. But... So you've got the beautiful yarn, you got the pretty, pretty bag. I thought so. It did say there was one more thing in here. So I also got a packet of darning needles. I'm not going to open this up because I will just lose them. But I can tell there is probably one. Well, it says needles, but there's probably one darning, two needles in here. I can't tell by the feel. But anyway, darning needles also. It's pretty heavy though. A couple, three darning needles in here. I like darning needles. I like the bent darning needle. I use them all the time. So everything you need to make several projects in here. Uh, don't really know how many of the projects I could make. I guess it depends which one you choose. Some of the smaller ones or some of the bigger ones. Yeah, because if you make that pillow, I don't even know if there's enough yarn to make with that pillow in here, but if you do the pumpkin, you could probably get the pumpkin in the hat. You know, you know. So that's interesting. If there's anybody else in here who gets these boxes, ha uh, like how many of the projects could you get out of a box? You're definitely not getting every project out of here, but like that pillow, because that pillow is going to take quite a bit of yarn. Hmm, that's, that's, that's interesting. I'm curious now. So, we got the nice little notions bag. We got the darning needles. We got, and I, I love, I love the stitch marker every month. And I actually use a lot of these crochet hooks because I tend to buy the bigger ones. 
And I like these because they've got the nice grip on them for the small ones. I'm gonna put that right in here so I don't lose it. And I messed around with it and I got that third zipper open. So, that's we are good to go. And our palm. Don't forget our palm. We got our little palm. Got our palm. It's a decent palm. So that's it. That's our beautiful, beautiful leaves are falling. Crochet is calling. Crochet Society box for September of 23. Which means since this is the end of October, likely I've got another one coming up pretty quick. I need to contact them and find out what's going on because there's no paperwork in here or anything like that. And I don't know where I am on my subscription. It's beautiful, but I never make any of the things. I do use, I, I use all the little notions that are in there, the crochet hooks and everything. I use them all the time, um, but I don't use the yarn. I don't make any of the little things. So. Love to see. You got to call them and find out where we're at. Thank you so much for watching today. Please like, please subscribe. Tell me what you think about the box. Is this something that you guys do? Do you guys do the uh, Crochet Society box? If not, have you ever done it? Have you thought about doing it? Let me know. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.